and we're going to call Canada, and we're going to say, what happened? And they might give us an answer, but we're going to get the solution, not just the answer, okay? Because we know what the solution is, all right? <laughs> Donald Trump just specifically, vigorously, repeatedly condemned a Canadian trade barrier. A new trade barrier, just brought in a few months ago, a trade barrier that punishes Americans, puts them at a disadvantage. It wasn't Canadian retaliation against the U.S. move. It was a pure act of political interference by Justin Trudeau. And Trudeau thought Wisconsin dairy farmers didn't matter. Yeah, that's what Hillary Clinton thought too, right? So you've got governors upset about this. You've got congressmen upset about this. The Speaker of the U.S. Congress upset about it. And now the President of the United States, who loves, loves, loves to pick fights with foreign countries about trade. It's like when Dirty Harry asks you, do you feel lucky, punk? The answer never ended well for the punk. Now, I'm not saying that Canada should not stand up for our national interests. I like Trump, but I like Canada more. Even a Canada whose prime minister is a childish idiot, a know-nothing dilettante socialist. I'm on Canada's side, by the way. But I can't help but notice that Trudeau's policy is not in Canada's interests in the first place. And it is definitely not in the interests of harmonious Canada-U.S. relations that are much bigger than the interests of some liberal dairy farmers in Quebec. And I know that Trump is just itching for a fight. And that fight, if he gets it, will be much larger and deeper than anything restricted to a few Quebec dairy farmers. What if Trump, just brainstorming here, what if he called up the CEO of Ford or General Motors and said, hey, move your Canadian factories to Michigan and Iowa, uh, excuse me, Ohio. Do you doubt they would do it? Now, that's an extreme outcome. I don't think Trump would do that. But it's a Trump move, dramatic, game-changing, bam, shock and awe. Like firing 59 cruise missiles at Bashar Assad. Like dropping a Moab bob, um, bomb on ISIS. Trump does shocking things to get attention, to reset the chessboard. Hey, if you like that, sign up for my show every day. Click on the screen to subscribe.